What's going on, YouTube? My name is Legendary Lee, and today we riff this paradox. And gentlemen, here we are with another Pokemon trading card game opening, and today it is the brand new set, Paradox Rift, a booster box of it, of course. 36 booster packs inside this thing. You need no introduction. If you're here, you know what a booster box is, you know what it's about, and you know we're going to get crazy with it as we get into this box, as we do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I do all sorts of Pokemon trading card game content here on this channel, and if that's your jam, you're going to love this jelly. All right, let's get into it. 36 packs, like I said, Paradox Rift. Some really good cards I want to pull from the set. Um, the Iron Jugulus, or the, uh, is that what it is? The, the Futuristic Hydreigon. I think it's called Iron Jugulus. Um, I want that card. I want the Groudon. Um, what else? Is there anything else? Um, not sure. But those are like the main two art rares that I want. So if we can come away with one of those, or both, that would be fantastic. All right. Next pack up here in today's opening of paradox rift hope you're all having a fantastic whatever day of the week it is i'm uploading it uh couldn't tell you i'm uploading it on a saturday I'm, 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 I'm recording it the day after the release day um, which i've had the box Ooh, there we go that's a nice colorful card there i'm recording this the day after it actually released on saturday the fourth i think is that the fourth yeah i think it's the fourth <clears throat> that's when I'm recording the video. But when you'll see it, maybe the same day. Who knows? If so, hello from me on the same day. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get into these packs. And let's guess an energy here. Let's go with a water energy. Oh, let's go. First guess of the day and we got it. All right, we got a Pan Sage, Earthen Vessel, Medical Energy, Steedy, Morpeko, Panpour, and a Zacian. All right. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. All right. Next pack here. <clears throat> I don't know if you all recall, but I do. I, earlier in the Scarlet and Violet era, I said I wasn't going to be opening booster, bo booster boxes of every... Oh, my gosh. Stupid camera. Focus. Stay focused. I wasn't going to be opening a booster box of every set. Only the ones that I, I like and I think are good. So here we are. Obviously, I think Paradox Rift is a good set, or wouldn't be opening it. So, <clears throat> so here we are. Alrighty, can we get a crazy? I don't even know what the pool card is for this. Is it uh, the Salamence card? I think it probably is the Salamence card, if I had to guess. Alright, we got a Blussel, Gliscor, Absol, Sibi Sage, Onyx, Dublade, and a Glycopod. Ooh. That's right, Golisopod is another one I want. I knew there was a third one I wanted to pull. And Golisopod Art Rare is that card. Because I love me some Golisopod. One of the best bug... I think actually the best bug Pokemon, in my opinion, that's ever been um, brought into the Pokemon world. Alright, let's go with a Lightning Energy. Alright, so we've got a Gibble, Panpour, Blitzel, Bounce Sweet, Luxurious Cape, Cyclozar, Simiseer, Tinkatink, Cursed Duster. Oh, let's go. Oh, nice. A Roaring Moon EX Full Art. I will take it. That is sick. That is a sick looking card. This is one of the better of the design Pokemons from the, the futuristic or the ancient type Pokemon. This is one of the cooler design ones to me. I like a lot of the future ones, but oh man, a nick in the corner right there. Quality control for this era hasn't been the best. It really hasn't, which is unfortunate because there are some really great arts in the in this era. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the era, just because the pull rates have been high, but maybe they're coming down. Um, yeah, I'm just the quality hasn't been the best. At least in my experience. Let me know in the comments if you've had a different experience. But for me, almost every like good ultra rare or art rare card that I pulled has had some sort of nick in the corner or a centering issue and. You just hate to see it. You hate to see it. Especially with some of these really great arts and artworks that these artists put a lot of time into and make them look incredible for us to look at. And then we pull them from a pack and they're uh, they're already damaged. You know? And it's not... I don't understand it because there's other card games. The only other one I really open is Y Schwartz. And they are consistently perfect on their quality. Like, there's never any nicks in the corners. The centering is always, per um, always perfect. 
I don't know why. Maybe this Pokemon company is just printing too many and they're rushing. Because obviously they're, they're making a lot more Pokemon product than Y Schwartz products. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But Y Schwartz is like never has an issue. It's almost always like PSA 10 worthy when you get a nice pull out of Y Schwartz. So I don't know what the issue is there. I don't know. I'm thinking they're just like printing too much and they're going too fast and not worrying about the quality control because they're just printing money essentially. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one day we'll get some better quality back in the... Oh, let's go. This is another great hit here. Parasol Lady. Oh my goodness. And as you can see, there's a uh, nick of some sort up there in the corner right there. And centering is not the best on the front anyways. Yeah, the front centering is pretty off from bottom to top there. But still, a very, see, like, such a nice art. That is such a nice looking card. Only to be taken away from by on the, on the centering. And a little bit of nicks in the corners or on the edges. It's, it's unfortunate, but, you know, is what it is this. We gotta, we, gotta, we gotta deal with what we're given, I guess. We gotta deal with what we're given. All right, next pack up here. There we go. Honestly, out of all the normal sets, all the uh, standard sets, not including 151, obviously, of the Scarlet and Violet era, I think this is the strongest set in terms of value and how it's going to do long-term um, investment-wise. Let's go. We are killing it with some pools today, guys. Absolutely killing it. I think this has the best um, variety of cards, in my opinion. Um, I thought that was going to be Obsidian Flames, but really, Obsidian Flames was kind of lackluster once... Once I got into it, I was like, eh, it's kind of just like that Charizard set that doesn't have much else to offer, unfortunately. Um, but, I don't know, I wish they would release a Charizard set that actually has, like, other things, like, you know, other things that are decent in it. Most of the Charizard sets aren't, like, the ones that are focused on mainly Charizard. They don't include anything else, and then it ultimately hurts them long term. Like, you think about a Burning Shadows, it's not one of the higher end ones of, um sun and moon or darkness of blades it's not one of the higher end ones of uh uh sword and shield i don't know i guess i don't know it just doesn't make sense maybe they should change their direction on some of those sets because i just feel like even even like champion's path champion's path was such a bad set to me it is such a bad set like it's got two cards you want and the rest are like two dollars or less a card like, it's just not very desirable. Um, I don't know. They need to, have, like, spruce up those Charizard sets, man. I, like, I know Charizard is, a is like, everyone, a lot of people, it's not everyone, a lot of people's favorite, and it's a big, big money getter and all this stuff, but I don't know. I really think they need to pro provide some diversity in those uh, Charizard sets and not just go 100% in on Charizard, and if you don't get one of the two or three Charizard cards, that's the thing. Oh, the Charizard sets, especially the more recent ones. There we go. There's a nice Groudon card. The Charizard sets, it's like, there's too many Charizards in them. Put like one, maybe two Charizards in there and then diversify that set. I think that would help in the desirability of those those Charizard focused sets, but I don't know. Who am I? I'm not an employee of the Pokemon Company. I'm just some random person on YouTube with a few thousand subscribers. Just ranting to people that I've never seen before who will listen. <laughs> But we got another pull here if this stupid camera would focus. We've got the Sandy Shocks EX, the Magneton version of the ancient Pokemon there. Doing pretty good on hits so far. Our hits are pretty good. None of the ones that I want to pull so far. But uh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting some nice pulls anyways. All right, let's go with a uh, Lightning Energy. All right, we've got a Swab Blue Pantsier Nicklet. I almost said Nicklet. That's not its name. Wug Trio. TM Blindside, Iron Bundle, Kevin, Knackle, and Volcanium. I feel like we've opened like no packs. Looking over at this booster box, it feels like I've opened like no packs, but I feel like I've opened close to half of them, but it looks like I've opened none hardly. All right, here we go. We got a Goodbite, Minin, Dewblade, Miltank, Semipore, Zepstrike, uh, Crocolore, Professor, Tauros. That's cool. That's a cool reverse. It doesn't have like the pattern on it. Is that an error? Is this an error card? It doesn't have the uh, doesn't have this on it. See how like the little the little pattern? It's just pure 
shine. Or maybe it's supposed to be like that because it has this gradient. I don't know. I like how it looks. I really like it. I'm going to sleeve it anyways. Maybe just in case it's some sort of error. I don't, it might not be. We'll see how the rest... Oh my gosh, I just completely hit the <laughs> camera. Also, we did get a crustal uh, art rare, so let's set that over to the side as well. Um, so we'll see how the rest of the opening goes. If we can determine if that's some sort of error. If not, that's a... I mean, even if it's not, it's still cool. it looks cooler than this. I don't like the reverse pattern on these Scarlet Violet eras. I haven't liked the reverse pattern on any sets in a long time. A long time. They're just trying too much. I think they're just trying too much. But uh, who am I? Who am I to tell them what to do <laughs> with their company, you know? Who am I? All right. Next pack here of Paradox Rift. The newest... Scarlet and Violet era set here in November of 2023. Let's go with the water energy. All right, so we've got Unexpected, Flittle, Nicket, Knackley, Mela, Slitherwing, Gorgeist, Wimpod, Tandem Mouse, and a Garganical. I swear, man, I'm pulling packs from this box, but it's just like an infinite box. Like, it looks like no packs. Like, look how many packs are still left in here. It looks like I've hardly taken any out of it. Looks like I've taken hardly any out. All right, let's go with the fire energy. We even guessed the energy right since the very first pack. That's sad. All right, we got a parasol lady. We're going to Toad Scroll, Screamtail, TM Devolution, Blitbug. Oh, let's go! That is a art rare tulip. Let's go, special art rare. Oh my goodness, heck yeah! I'll take that, guys. We will take that for sure. That's a nice card as well. We got two really nice trainer cards in this one. Really nice trainer cards. I think there's another version of the Parasol Lady. Don't quote me on that. I think there's uh, another like special art rare of the Parasol Lady. But, like I said, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure about that. All right. Next pack here. One to the front. Let's go with a Lightning Energy. Dang it, man. Dang it. All right. We got a Toad School, Toxel, Spinda, Nimble, Steeny. Semipor, Zeb Striker, Mela, Cloth, and Iron Valiant EX. Let's go. I'll take that too. Yeah, mate, we're still we're sitting like halfway through, and we've got some pretty great pulls so far. So maybe they didn't tone down the pull rates like I thought they did. We will see. My my ETB had one hit in nine packs, so I thought maybe they toned the the pull rates down because 151 seems like the pull rates are a little bit lower. Um, but maybe they haven't. <laughs> Maybe they haven't. All right, let's keep going. All right, we got an Aegis Slash there. Next pack here of the day of Paradox Rift. There's your code. Let's go one to the front. Let's go with a uh, Metal Energy. I almost was. I, I was almost gonna say Lightning. Almost gonna say it. All right, we got a Shark Cadet, Swab Blue, Counter Catcher, Masquerade, Ancient Booster, Energy Capsule, Gorgeist, Glycar, and a Chiyu. See you later. All right. Next pack here. We're going to just shuffle through this one. Oh, I see something back there. Oh, we got a Bombardier EX. Let's go. There's your code. I, I like opening booster boxes, but I feel like it just takes so long. I don't want to lose you guys' attention. We're already at like 14 minutes on this video. But I'm just, I don't know. Sometimes I'll just uh, cycle through a, a pack like this. Just to speed up the video here a little bit. And another glycopod there. There's your code. Okay. Ignore the giant stack of cards on the desk right there. I'm sure that's bothering some of you out there. <laughs> I'm sure it is. All right. Let's go through this one. Oh, uh, there we go. A Garganical. Garganical art rare. And a code for you. All right. We're doing pretty good doing pretty good we've got about 10 packs left about 10 packs left all right let's go through this one as well and okay no so that's not a um that's not a misprint that's how they are dang i was really hoping it was a misprint okay there we go all right let's go back to the uh, old guest energy here we'll slow it down a little bit we saved a little bit of time there by flipping through those couple packs. Next pack here. Really trying for that Groudon, the Glycopod, and the Iron Jugulus. Let's go with the Fire Energy. 
and we've got a lighting. We got a Mantike, Gobite, Minin, Dewblade, Cloth, Orthworm, Absol, Aegislash, Parasol Lady, and a Frost Last EX, Terrestrialized as the Grass type. Terrestrialization also not one of my favorite things. I think it looks so dumb. Um, I just, ugh, it just looks so dumb to me. Like I was okay with the Gigantamax and um. What is it? Dynamax? Gigantamax? I was fine with that stuff. It was fine because we got some new designs of Pokemon. My favorite like gimmick type of thing we've ever had is the uh, Mega Evolutions, obviously. Mega Evolutions are dope. I will always stand by Mega Evolutions. They are really cool. Alright. Next pack here. Let's go one to the front. Let's go with a Dark Energy. Alright. We've got Tandem Mouse, Dewebble, Wismer, Dewblade, Veluza, Techno Machine, Turbo Energy, Woke Trio, Vanellish, Flittle, and a Skeleturge EX. Yeah, Skeleturge was the Pokemon I chose on my playthrough of Pokemon Violet. I never finished. <laughs> I never finished. I beat like seven of the gems, uh, like four of the whatever Pokemon that they were like around that were big. Um. And like three of the Team Star bosses. I didn't finish it. Did not finish the game, unfortunately. The first one I, ever, I never finished. All right, we've got a Latios. All right, we're down to six packs here. Can we get another crazy pull? I really just want that Groudon, guys. I want the Groudon so bad. That Groudon so bad. It's not even that super rare of a card. I think it's just a normal art rare instead of like a special art rare. All right, or uh, illustration rare, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. They got a weird names now. Are we got a Nimble, Elekid, Durant, Earthen Vessel, Medical, oh my gosh, I can't grab the cards, Joltik, Wiglet, and an Iron Moth. All right, we are almost down, winding down on this video. Just a few packs left. Hope you're having a fantastic time here on the Legendary Lee channel. All right, one to the front. Let's go with a Psychic. Ah, can't get one, man. I can't get one again. All right, we got a Joltik, Remoraid, Pumpkaboo. Ancient Boost Energy Capsule, Cyclozar, Professor Turo's Scenario, Toad Scroll, Sharkadet, and a Morpeko. Morpeko, Morpeko. All right. Next pack here. There's your code. One to the front. Let's go with the Lightning Energy. And it's not. All right, we got a Bounce Suite, Phoebus, Apom, Hand Sage, Ferrothorn, Cursed Duster, or Beetle. Dewblade, Shine Pal, Satu. All right, three packs left, guys. Can we get one last hit? I'm hoping for one last hit. One last hit here in today's Pokemon card opening. Let's go with a Metal Energy here. Oh, nope. All right, we've got a Nimble, Yamask, Spinda, Ticketing, Tatsugiri, Vanellix, Defiance Fest, Dottler. Nicket and a Palkia. Yeah. All right, we're down to two packs, guys. You know what time it is. It's time for the Triple P, the penultimate Pokemon pack. Here it is. And it's a uh, Garchomp on the front of it. Good old Garchomp. All right. There's your code. Let's go one to the front. Let's go the Water Energy. And of course, we're not going to get it. <laughs> got Lit Bug, Fuecoco, Hone Edge, Dwebble, Techno Radar, Counter Catcher, Masquerain. Necklace deck or beetle and a low kicks. That's actually one we haven't pulled. I actually like the art on that. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, here we go. As you can see, last pack magic. Can we pull it off? One final pack to rule them all. Can there be an absolute banger of a hit in this last pack? Probably not because the odds say it's not going to happen. But as Han Solo once said, never tell me the odds. All right, we've got a Wimpod, Plusel, Tanamouse, Toad School, Ambipom, Snorlax Doll, Tigaton, Tinglu, Dondozo, and a more Peko, more Pico is going to wrap it up. Let's take you out of here, Professor Turo. You do not deserve a sleeve, but let's wrap it up and see what we got for today's video. Skeletor GX, Frostlass EX, Garganical. So that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
12 out of 36. That is exactly the right amount of hits I think you need in a, a booster box. A one in three packs. That is the perfect rate. And I feel like they did actually drop the rates, which I am happy about. I am super happy about that. It gives me a more motivation to open Scarlet and Violet era stuff moving forward. Because, man, was it really, really tough for me to want to open it. Because there's just too many pulls, man. Too many pulls. I think this is the highlight of the video here. The Tulip um, art, Special Art Rare, special, special Illustration Rare card. Full Art Trainer. Very nice. But that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like rating down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like I said before. Until next time, stay legendary.